Welcome to Liesl's Artistic Studio. I'm excited to announce that next week I will be teaching you how to paint these beautiful poppies with watercolors. So to get ready for that, we first need to learn how to draw them. So today I will teach you how to draw these flowers. Let's get started and don't forget to like and subscribe. For supplies today, we need paper to draw on. Mine is cut to the size of 8x10 so I can easily frame it when I'm done. Now, if you are planning to paint these poppies with me next week, I recommend drawing these flowers on watercolor paper so it will be ready to go. But if you want to color these a different way, any nice thick paper like cardstock will do. We also need a pencil with a good eraser to draw with. For this first flower, let's start by drawing a simple circle for the center part of the flower in the upper left-hand corner of the page. Then, the top half of the circle I'm going to darken using a jagged line for the center of the flower. Now starting at approximately the center bottom of the circle, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line up to the darkened half and then back down to form a petal. Then I'm going to do the same on the other side and erase the lines from the circle that I don't need anymore. Next, I'll draw two small petals right near and around the top half of that darkened circle. Now in the center part of the flower, I'm going to draw what looks like a backwards C that will basically become the highlight point for the center part of the flower once as we start adding color to it. Then we'll start drawing the rest of the petals that will surround the center part. Start with a thin petal right at the base, having one side slightly fatter than the other. Now we'll add a petal at the top. Keep in mind that these petals can be pretty rough edged with squiggly lines and they can even be asymmetrical to make them look organic. Lastly, draw one or even two petals on each side of the flower to fill the space from the top petal down to the bottom petal. To finish this flower off, let's just add some curved lines for the stem. Now let's draw the second poppy. This one will be drawn at a slightly different angle. It will be below the first poppy and more off to the right side. For the first petal, draw a curved and slightly squiggly line moving down and then up. Form a point on the side, draw up and over, making another point on the other side. Then starting at the point you just finished, draw another petal up and down to the middle of the first petal. Then do the same to the other side. Now let's finish this flower up with two smaller petals off to the side and one larger petal at the top that can connect everything together. Now add a stem to this flower and the finishing touch on each of these flowers will be some quick and easy lines for the center stamen. Now if you'd like, you can add a couple of buds to your drawing as well. They're not too complicated. Start by drawing the bud, which can basically be done with a small circle connected to a larger oval shape. Then draw the stem.
It's time to add some leaves to this drawing. I'm going to draw about four leaves in some of the more empty spaces of my drawing. These leaves will have jagged edges, they will be slightly curved off to the side, they will be asymmetrical, and they will also be drawn in various sizes. For a finishing touch on this drawing, we need to add some little hairs or fuzz. Poppy stems and leaves are a little fuzzy, so just make some tiny marks here and there along the tops of the stems and on the buds. Then if you want to, you can even add some veins on the buds and the leaves. And here is your pretty little poppy drawing. I hope you had some fun drawing with me today. Make sure you don't forget to join me next week when I will teach you how to paint your poppies with watercolors. This is a tutorial you don't want to miss. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel so I can continue to help you discover your artistic side.